What's up everybody, it's Neil here with iOS Softmodder. Today I'm going to show you an awesome tweak to apply to your jailbroken iOS 7 device. In this instance, it's an iPhone. Basically, what this tweak will do is set passwords to individual applications. So if you have no nosy friends, or sometimes your device gets in the wrong hands, and you want to protect certain applications like your photo album or Instagram or whatever it may be, it will require a password to actually do so. Now, this doesn't just apply to your springboard or your home screen, but say you're, you're in a, your camera isn't locked and you're in the camera and someone tries to tap on your gallery, it will require a passcode. Same if you're trying to export something with an email, say you locked email, if they try to export using email, it will require a password, which is convenient. So, you're jailbroken, you're ready to go, you're just going to install the tweak called Lockdown Light. And you can locate the preferences through your settings application. And you just look for it, and let's find it, Lockdown Light. Now, I already set it up, it requires a password to actually even get into it. All right, initial setup, it will ask you to set a password and you can do it numerically or alphabetically. And it will also require a, um, a safety word, meaning basically if you forget your passcode, you, it, will, uh, it will provide it for you once you provide your safety word. All right, so let's go through the basic preferences before anything. Uh, there's uh, under settings, you have lockdown light. You can enable or disable. I always just leave it enabled because uh, it recommends disabling it when you're using it. But if I lose my phone or someone just takes it when, when I'm not looking, then I won't have it enabled and they can open application. So I always leave it enabled. You can lock these settings just as, as you just saw. I had to enter a passcode to enter the actual settings, which you should definitely have enabled unless you don't want it. And then you can also enable on phone call. Um, let's go to other settings. You can hide notifications to the apps that you've locked. If you want that, you can lock all apps inside of a folder. If you decide to lock a folder, it will lock all of the um, applications within it and also unlock all of them once you input your passcode. And then there's a launch button and no enter button, meaning once you input your passcode, you don't need to hit enter or, or launch right after. These are just some extra features, but let's get to the real beefy part. All right, so lock apps and folders. Click on that. And you can lock up to as many as you want. Doing a test run, I locked 30 and I uh, had no problem. Up here, there's a fast button. If you press that, you can just tap and it'll automatically lock the app. If you don't, you'll see like that, it'll ask you again. Are you sure you want to lock? Yes. Or you can hit fast and do as many apps as you want. And then tapping them again will unlock them. So I'm going to go ahead and lock my camera app. And let's show you how this works. I've set a numeric passcode. Someone tries to access it. I don't think so. Enter. So there you go. It's pretty simple, it's straightforward, it's a uh, peace of mind, and uh, definitely check out the full article on iOS Softmodder. Comment, subscribe, let me know how you guys like it, and uh, thanks for watching.